Problem three. I have all this stuff over here on the left side of the equal. Not much here on the right side. So I need to go ahead and clean this up and get my X's all combined and everything before I start trying to move across the equal sign. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do negative 2 times 3X. That's negative 6X. A negative 2 times a negative 1. Well, a negative times negative is positive, so that's a plus 2. Then we have plus 8X plus 5 equals, nothing happens here, negative 3x plus 17. So here's my equal, still have that. Let's put together here, who can go together? Negative 6x and plus 8x, those can go together. You lose 6 and then gain 8, net result is a gaining of 2. If I lost 6 pounds one week but then gained 8 the next week, <laughs> net result ceases 2 pounds heavier. That sounds like a weekly occurrence to me, I don't know about you. Alrighty, we got a plus 2 and a plus 5. That's going to give us a plus 7 here. And on this side, we have negative 3x plus 17. So now at this point, I like to always go ahead and move all my x's to one side. Well, what's going to be easier to move, 2x or negative 3x? Well, what would weigh more? This weighs more, so I'm going to move this guy that's light. He's fluffy, just fluffy air. Negative 3x. How do we get rid of that? We simply add 3x and he'll disappear. You lose 3x, gain 3x, gone. But since we added 3x to the right, I have to add 3x over here on the left side of the equal sign. 2x and 3x is 5x plus 7 equals 0 plus 17 is 17. Now let's go to the adding 7, subtract 7, because I have x all by itself. Just need to get rid of this number over with its buddy over here who's a number. So we subtracted 7, that went away, I had 5x. 17 minus 7 is 10. I divide by 5 on both sides. x equals 2. I divide by 5 because I had to get rid of multiplying by 5, and the opposite of that is dividing. So I divide by 5 to create a 1 here because I want to know what 1x is equal to. In this case, 1x is equal to 2. That means if I take 2 and plug it in here and here and here, this left side and right side will balance out and be equal to one another. Again, that's the only number of all the numbers that exist, that's the only guy that's going to make the left and the right be perfectly balanced and equal out to one another. No other number will do it. Problem three, x is equal to two if you want those sides to be equal.